everyone, it's Light Tetra and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a cheap and really really effective and versatile bubble filter that you can use on any of your tanks and will provide sufficient biological filtration for your needs. This set this project literally cost me zero dollars as everything was found on hand and it uses recyclable materials as well but if you need to buy resources I think it will at most cost you about ten dollars for the media and that can be reused so without further ado let's hop right into this project and I would like to apologize if my voice is pretty croaky or it's soft because as you can as you can hear I have just recovered from the flu so I can't be that loud and expressive as I was last time so let's get into it for this project there are a few materials you will need so the first being a 1.5 liter pet bottle and that can be taken from soft drink bottles or mineral water bottles it doesn't matter as long as it's rigid and firm and it can contain media the second thing you need is an airline and preferably about 3 meters so you can always cut back. You will need some t basic tools like scissors, a coping saw if you have one, an electric screwdriver or a power drill or any tool that can be used to punch holes in plastic to make holes in, the, in this bottle and in a bottle cap. You will need an air pump such as these air pumps here like this Highly Haley air pump or whatever I, I don't know and and you need a black sponge any type actually any type of sponge will do but preferably a black sponge because those can be easily molded and stuff like that so all right so now let's go into the procedure of making this wonderful filter first using uh, either a power drill or an electric screwdriver make some holes in a cap about four to five will do. Next, drill a hole in at the neck of the bottle and this is where your airline will go through. Drill another hole at this area and widen it out a bit so you can fit suction cups into it. So now I'm using this electric screwdriver to widen out the hole a bit so I'll be able to fit this suction cup which you can find in pet stores into this hole and it will allow this module to stand upright in the tank alright so we will be putting this on top later and I will show you how this actually works next either use a coping saw or, or a really sharp scissors to cut off the edge of the bottle You take your air stone and your tube. First, insert the tube into the hole that was previously made. If the tube is too stiff, you can always make the hole bigger. Oh yes, now it fits. And draw your tube over to the top. Take it out from the back. And you can put this thing up, push it in, attach the air stone, and then you pull this whole thing back down so that the air stone sits nicely in in the, in the in the neck of the bottle and can't come out easily all right and now you can take your suction cup and 
place it in. Alright, and now we can go into filling the media and installing this whole setup. Before that, you put the cap on and this is about it. Now it's time to install and place the media in. Alright, now we are in the actual site. The tank is here and we are going to begin putting media. So. The media that I've chosen to use is the ceramic rings and it should be sufficient bacteria biological filtration for should be sufficient for this setup because it's not really big and I only plan to put two inch of fish in there. So let's fill it up now and uh, you can Fill it up over the stone. I think the stone will block out most of the what's the, what's it called? most of the biological filtration in these ceramic rings so they won't drop down. But if you want to stop them, you can always put a piece of foam, but I don't really care. Let's 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 keep this. Going. Design these sponges. This one has a slit in it. Uh, is it full? No, this one has a slit in it. See, it's a slit. So I will slide this over. See, all the holes are here. It will go over. Gosh. Yes. Right, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below. I'm open to advice and constructive feedback about the video and also about this filter bill itself. So till then, I'll see you next time.